Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are just going to baseline our application. So we are going to baseline with the PNPM uh, workspace and NX Monorepo tool and we will see what all things we need, what all services, what all front end component like what all tools and technologies we are going to use to build a Udemy clone because it's going to use a massive data structure. It's not uh, simplified. You can see we are going to manage these different level of categories and every category will have a subcategory and subcategory will have the courses. So maybe we are not going to build that that many category. We can have just a three categories, development, business and IT software, because for the other categories, it is going to work in the same way. And then once we baseline the services and all, then we need to define the structure in our uh, RDS because we are going to use for small services, we, which are using just a one table, we can use a MongoDB or the Prisma. I mean, uh, Prisma is just ORM, but we can use a MongoDB. And for other services, which are going to store this complex data structure, we are going to use RDS. And the ORM, we can use a type ORM uh, and any ORM, which you can think type ORM, SQLize and the Prisma. Because it's not simple like to store all this data, which is being fed by the admin portal from the admin the content creator who wants to teach at udemy will post the data okay this is my course name these are the sub modules modules and these are the video titles right all these things will be published and these will have multiple categories so here you can see in the development we have these categories so these are the random top most uh, uh, sub categories we are going to show like aws certification python javascript they can be like the end sub categories okay so it's all about how we manage the data structure so in this video what we are going to do is we are just going to baseline our service what all uh, we are going to use to build this so we need to baseline uh, two different uh, repositories one repository with uh, multiple code base i mean multiple folders you can say because we are using me pnpm workspace we are going to use uh, end user udemy app udemy dashboard app um, authentication we are going to use uh, auth0 so we are going to use this uh, course listing so there is a course microservice where you can actually search for a particular course the, so that course microservice is going to manage all the categories we have categories subcategories and the, the root level categories and the course content so this is like these are the categories we are providing so there is a total separate categories and then if you want to create a content you will choose one category which is provided by the category service okay i want to build a content on the node.js so i got the category now i will start uploading my content for this particular category so there is a content service content service it uh, uh, it used to be a cms content management system but we have to store things inside a aws s3 the videos and the, the images and the thumbnails which you are uploading so there will be a separate microservice which allows uh, the logged in user the content creators to upload things and then there will be an apis to create the content create the modules create the the course sub modules the, the, the upload the video upload the image all those things will happen through underneath the microservice which we are going to build and the, this particular data structure is little complex and it also challenging for me what i'm going to do is i'm going to just learn things and try to build this as my side project for end-to-end -end learning on some complex things we are going to use the next years and the react react 18 and next year 13 with uh, the, all these advanced tools we can use uh, next years because we already have this Next.js microservices, so we are not going to use the Next.js API backend. Next.js again going to talk to these Next.js microservices to fetch the data and give you the data for the admin dashboard because admin dashboard is something which will be used by content creators to upload the content, create the courses, see all the billing informations like how many purchases they have made and all okay so let's first baseline the repository and make the code available on the github so you can start exploring and start making things